Hello and welcome. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create your own stamps with your clients. I love this fun activity because it allows you to be creative and create your own designs. In this video, I'll be using a line of Speedball products. Here I have a linoleum pad for my design. I have this tool here where you can insert different size bits into it to create your design. I'll be showing you that later. I have this roller here that will be used to spread this ink onto the pad once I'm done so that we can transfer the design onto paper. The first step is creating your design on your pad. I'm going to be creating my own pad with a pen or a pencil and you can do the same. The design I'm creating is a thank you design so that I can then use it multiple times to make thank you cards for people. So now I'm gonna create my own design. Okay. Here's my design. As you can see, I wrote thank you backwards. That's because whenever I print it onto a piece of paper, it's gonna have a mirror-like effect. The second step is carving out your design. You can do this two ways, carving out your design directly, or you can carve out the negative space around your design. And that is what I am choosing to do. Either way is fine. To do this next step, you're gonna need your tool since I'm carving out a lot of the negative space, I'm gonna start out with my biggest tool, which is number five. So what I'm gonna do is just slip this in and lock in the tool. This tool is very easy to switch in and out different size bits for your, that you'll need for your project. Okay. That's inserted. Now I'm just gonna tighten it down. Okay, so think of this tool as a shovel. You are just essentially scooping out whatever you want or don't want in my case. And um, what you wanna do is do it away, push the tool away from you so you don't slip and end up cutting yourself on accident. And for this tool, you don't wanna dig down too deep. You just need to apply a little bit of pressure and the linoleum will come off. Like that. I have a lot of the negative space already carved out, but to do finer detail, I'm gonna to switch to a smaller bit. I'm gonna use bit number one. This is where my audio cuts out, but here's my linoleum pad with a negative space carved out. As you can see, my design is nicely shown. Next, you're going to see me prepare my ink and roller for the next phase of this activity.
Here I am encouraging you to allow your clients to do the carving with the tool. However, if you feel that it's unsafe, you can always do hand over hand with their hand on top of yours so that they get the feel of the tool. Next, I'm going to be grabbing my roller so that I can apply the ink onto my linoleum pad in design. This is what my pad looks like with ink. As you can see, the ink is mainly on my design only and not the negative space that has been carved out. Next, you're going to see me grab a piece of paper and fold it so that it looks like a card. And this will be the canvas for our stamp. You're going to want to carefully grab your pad and apply even pressure onto the pad as you stamp your piece of paper. Now you want to carefully remove the pad from the paper. My video cuts off at this point, but after this, I just show you what the design looks like on my card and that's it. If you did not take notes throughout this video, do not worry. I have a link in the description to a document with instructions and other helpful tips. Thank you so much for watching this video. I apologize for the technical difficulties and I hope that you're still able to do this activity with your clients. It is so much fun and it's very creative. Have a good time. Thank you.